Your Voice, Your Vote. Our powerhouse political team is covering all the angles this morning. And ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jake Tapper, starts us off from Denver. And Jake, even President Obama's team is conceding that Mitt Romney gained ground last night. That's right, George. Uh, Obama campaign officials uh, conceding that Romney seemed more polished. They say they expect he will get a bump in the polls. Some Obama allies telling me that the president last night seemed tired and bored. President Obama and Governor Romney. It was a sweet start for the president for what would end up something of a bitter pill. I just want to wish, uh, sweetie, uh, you happy anniversary and let you know that a year from now, we will not be celebrating it in front of 40 million people. <laughs> I'm sure this was the mo most romantic place you could imagine <laughs> here, here with me. So I, <laughs> congratulations. And with that, former Governor Mitt Romney began an aggressive prosecution of the last four years, invoking Vice President Biden's own word for what has happened to the middle class. Under the president's policies, middle income Americans have been buried. They're, they're just being crushed. And attacking the president's health care bill. I just don't know how the president could have come into office facing 23 million people out of work and spent his energy and passion for two years fighting for Obamacare instead of fighting for jobs for the American people. The Obama campaign felt good about moments when the president directly addressed voters, looking into the camera to assail what he described as Romney's plan for Medicare vouchers. If you're 54 or 55, you might want to listen, because uh, this uh, this will affect you. And faulting his challenger for being too vague in his plans to replace health care and Wall Street reform bills. At some point, I think the American people have to ask themselves, is, is the reason that Governor Romney uh, is keeping uh, all these plans to replace secret because they're too good? Is it, is it because that somehow uh, middle class families are going to benefit too much from them? No. The debate was moderated in a zen, low-key style by PBS's Jim Lehrer, with whom both candidates tangled over time. I had five seconds before he interrupted me. Jim, the, the president began this segment, so I think I get the last word. When Romney discussed government programs he'd cut, he included Lehrer's own funding. I'm sorry, Jim, I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for. And it was a debate full of numbers and domestic policy details. So if, if the tax plan he described were a tax plan I was asked to support, I'd say absolutely not. I'm not looking for a $5 trillion tax cut. Well, for 18 months, he's been running on this tax plan. And uh, now, five weeks before the election, uh, he's saying that his big, bold idea is never mind. George, up until last night, the Obama campaign had succeeded in turning this from a referendum on President Obama to a choice. And they were pa painting Mitt Romney as an unacceptable alternative. But that dynamic seemed to change last night. It seemed to be very much a referendum on President Obama. And Mitt Romney presented himself as a credible alternative. George? Which is exactly what Mitt Romney wanted. Let's get the view from the Romney camp right now. David, Bu David Muir covers the Romney campaign. And David, as we said, the polls giving Mitt Romney the, the win overnight. Clearly the Romney team is happy, but how do they capitalize on it going forward? Well, I got to tell you, George, in talking with a key advisor overnight, going back and forth, one of the things I was struck by was the fact that he said our supporters are going to love this. And you can't underestimate what he meant by that. As we know, for the last couple of weeks, the Romney campaign has really felt the heat from critics within their own party, the Republican Party, voices on conservative radio. There was an exchange and Romney saying, stop it. This is hard. If, if you want to try it, you get in the ring. All of that is going to stop after last night. Uh, there was a sigh of relief within the party. And, and beyond that, a celebration, really, of what the governor accomplished on that stage. As the campaign put it, uh, he put the president on his heels throughout the evening, put him on the defensive, which is what fellow Republicans wanted the governor to do here last night. The governor travels to Virginia right away, to Florida tomorrow, those key swing states, George, hopefully where he can capitalize. Uh, he's in a statistical dead heat in both of those states with the president. Okay.